All right, so the more you play with something, the more you learn you don't know enough. <laughs> the, more you, the more you learn you don't know. Anyway, um, these op amps, I have a bunch of them now because of me taking a look to see if there was fakes or not. I decided to take a look at some of the other parameters of op amps, and one of the things that I looked at was uh, slew rate. And I showed that before in other videos and stuff, but um, I thought I'd uh, maybe take a closer look at uh, what these waveforms really look like and what how they vary over good parts, right? Uh, I'll throw in one bad one, but 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 over good parts. So um, I have a little board here that I got a bunch of stuff wired up in, but basically there's two um, there's two sockets here that we'll be playing with. These are both wired as uh, inverting times 10 amplifiers, so they both have a gain of negative 10 and uh, they both have the same signal going into them. I'm going to be driving them with a square wave, and then we can watch the uh, output slew uh, from, from one rail to the other, uh, or, or from, the, from, from one, not from one rail to the other, but from, from the negative part of the signal to the positive part of the signal. All right? And uh, we'll be doing that over here on the oscilloscope, and I will be putting in uh, inserts here uh, with the frame crabber, so things will look a little prettier. Um, and I don't have to swing back and forth and back and forth as you probably get seasick. Um, so right now we're taking a look at a NE5532 or a JRC5532. And uh, you can see that when it steps up, um, it, well, first of all, I should say that we're driving it with plus and minus one volt. And so we should get, a, get about plus and minus 10 volts out. Um, and we're five volts per scale, so we're getting about nine volt, plus minus nine volts out right now. And you can see that uh, it slews. It's fairly linear as it slews up. A little bit of overshoot, but uh, not too bad. All right, I can go over to the uh, uh, oscilloscope here. Let me. I'm sorry about my reach here. Let me go to negative, negative falling edges, and same thing. It goes up and it goes down. But what I found was. Um, on oscilloscopes, you can say either. Okay, what does that mean? Rising, falling, or either. And so if you go to either, um, it will sometimes trigger on the positive one and sometimes trigger on the negative one, depending on how it feels. <laughs> and uh, so there we go. We see the falling and the edging edge both at the same time. Some people might, people might call this an eye diagram or whatever. Anyway, it shows us uh, plus and the minus. All right. So um, that, like I said, was the 5532. Right next door, I have a 2068, JRC 2068, and I can turn that on, um, and we can look at both at the same time. So you can see that the uh, 20, what did I just say, 2068 is a bit slower, but it's also very, very nice uh, straight lines, right? Very nice slew rate up, very, very nice slew rate down. In fact, it looks much more linear than the uh, 5532, although it is a bit slower, all right? So let's take a look at a bunch of op amps then, now, now that you know what I'm doing here. Um, all right, so the first one we looked at was the 2068. Let's try a uh, 4562, another JRC part. Uh, let's see here, let's put that in here. And you can see it's about the same, about the same. All right, and this is a JRC 4556. Let's try that one out. There you go. Oh, he's slower. Okay. This is the one that's good to plus or minus 70 milliamps, I think. So he's a bit on the slower side, but he's a grunt, grunt one. He's really good for like uh, uh, earphone amplifiers and stuff like that. So headphone amplifiers. All right. Those are good. Uh, let's see. What's the next one here? I got my magnifying glass. This one is a LF353. More modern part. LF353. And look at that. So this one kind of surprised me. It is faster. Uh, I can change the, let's, let's go up here a bit. It is faster, but um, it's non-linear. Um, it starts out linear and then it, when it gets to either the up or the down, it, it, it rolls off. So whatever compensation it has, it, it, it makes it so there's a sharp edge at the get-go and then it rolls it off on the other side, whereas the 5532 kind of lets it 
continue to go up, but then it has a little bit of overshoot. So that's more maybe like a Chevy Chev, and this is more like a Butterworth, and we're maximally flat, right? So yeah, I found that really, really interesting. Um, faster specs, but is it better? That's a good question. Is it better? Let me uh, pull that one out. Uh, let's see, the next one we're gonna look at is a TL072. Very, very famous part, TL072. Let's see how he does. And I've lost my power, oops. Lost my power connection, there we go. Which one's not connecting? Come on, there we go. So again, um, very fast and mostly linear, but rolls off again a lot like the other one. So it doesn't overshoot. It is rolled off a bit, but it is quicker. Um, so yeah, so that's interesting. Um, all right, let's take that one out. And then the last one we're gonna look at was the one that surprised me the most. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He must be a real modern part, real whiz bang, expensive part, cause he's fast and linear. Look at that. Perfectly flat, linear, slew rate, and no overshoot, critically dampened. This part is just a superstar. You'd expect to pay a lot of money for this part. Well, the part number is an LM358. <laughs> Probably the cheapest op amp known to man. <laughs> LF358, now it's got other bad things going for it, like a offset voltage and things like that are just horrendous on this, but if you're just wanting to make slew rate, eh, the 358 is your man, that's great. All right, so let's throw in one, one for, one for, for fun. Uh, this is a any 5532, so we're going to compare a 532 with another 5532. And <laughs> that's what it does. i got to slow down the scope so you can see the big picture here. Um, so that's a fake 5532. Uh, that's one of the Chinese fakes. So yeah, it's pretty obvious on this picture that uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fake. <laughs> it's a big fake. All right, um, so what I want to do now is I want to make some measurements for you guys. Measurements, people like the way I say it, measurements. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn off channel, that channel. We're going to go to rising edge only. Okay, we're going to go to measure, add, slew rate positive. Uh, and we can just put it right, let's put it right there. So we're getting about uh, nine volts per microsecond. Now this scope measures it in megavolts per second, but that's the same as volts per microsecond. E to the plus 10 on the top is the same as E to the minus six on the bottom. All right, so 10, 10 microvolts slew rate. This is a standard 5532, all right. So let's measure the other ones. Let's go back to this one. Uh, there we go. So that little uh, LM538 uh, is at 14. 14 volts per microsecond. And then the TL072 is at, I'm really having problems with these power connections over here. Come on, I think it's the plus one. Hello. Oh, I didn't put it in the wrong socket. No, <laughs> that'll do it. Dope. Okay, there. Oh. Which one is it? I think it's that one there. Okay, so 12, 12 for the, uh, 072, and for, this is the uh, LF353, and E is about 9, and then we'll go to the 2068 JRC. Six and the 
four, five, six, two is six, and the four, five, five, six is three point seven, and the Chinese clone five, five, three, two is. 2.4, lovely, <laughs> with some distortion in it too. There's some crossover weird distortion down in there somewhere. Anyway, I thought that was fun. I'm learning a lot. Um, I have newfound uh, respect for the LM358 for particular applications. Uh, the uh, 072 has redeemed itself. For a while, I really, really enjoyed that op amp, and I found some things I didn't like about it, but there are other things now that I do I do like about it, so that's why it's used everywhere. It's a, it's a, a part that's used in a lot, a lot of, a lot of equipment. Um, anyway, there you go, thought that'd be fun.